Hello, Pisces viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. I know the last reading I did, I was getting for for this um, group of Pisces that I channel that your guides are pushing you to just go out and meet new people. So an ex might come through here, but remember, your guides are also pushing you to to go out and and you know find your soulmate, you know meet new people, step out of your comfort zone. Um, you know, go for someone who might not be your usual type. You know, you can't expect love to find you if you're just sitting at home. I need that advice too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm not judging. I'm the same way. I understand. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what's going on for you guys. adventure honeymoon vacation that's kind of that energy i was getting is like you got to go out and live your life cold guarded distrusting trapped blocked tied up finances and career courage assertiveness forward movement hidden truth pride and stubbornness confusion uncertainty third party distraction karmic partner For some of you, this could be like a third party situation that hurt you a lot that still, but you still have a tie to that person that hurt you, that like cheated or maybe chose someone else over you, or there's just like this jealousy. Um, just a pattern repeating that's kind of held you back. But let me get a couple clarifier cards because I'm trying to figure out if this is about you or about your person. Unexpected ending, surprise changes, sudden shifts. Okay. Yeah, maybe some trauma from heartbreak. Primal, connecting deep within. What are these last four cards about? Can you show me what these last four cards are about? Allure, desire, manipulation. Transmission, influence, impact. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is probably a third party situation that hurt you. I think it's just kind of clarifying still because you, you could have an ex coming back, but I think it's still emphasizing on like going out and breaking this pattern that you have and meeting new people. So I feel like it's like you're cold and guarded and distrusting and it's because of this situation, because of what this person put you through. Um, you know, there was pride and stubbornness there. There was confusion and uncertainty. It's like this truth came out that just kind of broke your heart, I felt, I feel. Um, and it's like you're trapped by this ex and I don't think you even realize it. I think that you're telling yourself you, um, have moved on from it, but it's like, you still feel that betrayal so deeply, you know, it's, it's like you might be over the person, but you're not over what they did. It, it made it so that you can't, you feel like you can't trust anybody else. And it's like, see, this person is like blinded, but they don't even realize it. There's this red thread that they need to cut. But it's like, she can't even see the red thread. She doesn't even realize that she needs to cut this red thread and, and release this situation. You know, and it's kept you blocked. It's kept you kind of stagnant. It's maybe even pushed love away from you. Um, it's made you kind of cold and guarded. And maybe like subconsciously, you've kind of sabotaged love. Uh, because this per person in the past hurt you so much. So it's like maybe when you meet someone, you almost like put on like a resting bitch face or it's like you sabotage it and you might not even be conscious that you're doing it. And again, you know, if this if this is your reading, it's going to resonate with you. If it's not your reading, then, you know, it's not your reason reading. You're probably, you're going to know if this is your reading. It's going to be on point for you. You're probably going to know who this is. But it's like there's just this red thread here that, that's kept you blocked and tied up and kept you cold and guarded and distrusting of new people and new situations. It's almost like a soul shock. It's like this hidden truth came out with this person and it was just 
like maybe that maybe that they cheated or maybe that they had another person on the side or maybe you guys were together and they just left you and you did not see it coming like you thought that was going to be your forever person and they just dumped you um I hate to give such a negative reading but I think that your guides want to put emphasis on this because I think it's still affecting you spiritually and it's also affecting you on a subconscious level and so your guides want you to be aware of it so that you can heal this so that you can actually attract a positive partner so that you can actually attract someone you know that's going to love you and support you and be with you so it's like you might have a pattern that you've started because of of the this hidden truth that came out the shock and the and the pain and the, the just the heartbreak and betrayal that this person caused you that this person from the past caused you it might make it so it's like almost pushing love away from you in the current where it's like maybe your body language is kind of defensive and you're not even conscious of it or maybe um like you have uh, limiting beliefs now because of what this person did and and so it's like you're just not in that vibration of love um but I hate saying stuff like that because it's like everybody's been heartbroken you know what I mean and like you could still be loved even if you're damaged even if you're heartbroken but it's like there's something specific that that you're doing that's based on this this um old connection that you had with somebody that you really loved that shot like the that pain that betrayal shocked you you know what I mean it's not saying like oh you're damaged you can't have love like I don't don't take it that way it's not saying that it's just kind of saying like maybe you your body language is really guarded now maybe you have like resting bitch face with people now and you're not even conscious of it and it's it's from this or maybe um you have like bitterness and, ang and anger towards you know whatever sex you're attracted to and you might not even be fully aware of it but maybe that's coming out in your energy and it's kind of pushing people away it's it's that sort of energy um there's just something that kind of needs to be healed here it would be really good for you to do soul retrieval if you can find an experienced legit shaman um i would recommend that you know there's a lot of scammers out there so really do your research and find someone solid but i feel like you lost a piece of your soul with this person like they actually took that away from you and that's not don't freak out about that it's like um the native american belief about uh, soul loss and soul retrieval is basically when you go through a trauma you lose little pieces of your soul like if something is just too heartbreaking too traumatic too upsetting it's like these soul pieces um escape you basically to preserve themselves, to preserve them, to save themselves from the impact of that trauma, you know, and if you got, if you get your heart broken that deeply, it's like, I could see that causing soul loss and it's, it's not the end of the world. It's like, you just, you have to, you have to go through the different traumatic stages and, um, well, a shaman will take you and, and call those soul pieces back into you to make you whole again, basically. And it's, I've done it. It works. I actually got sick after I did my um, first one. I think I like threw up or something after I did it. So I know that's real. It's, it's, it's no joke. Um, it gets intense. If you go to the right person, you know, if you, if you go to someone who's actually legit, but, um, but anyway, so yeah, soul retrieval, look into that again. Don't go, you know, be cautious who you do it with. Um, Let's see. But yeah, your guides just want to point to this trauma because I think this is this is coming up to be dealt with because they want you to have new love. And um, there's just some kind of pattern or behavior. Could be subconscious, conscious, just something that you need to take the blindfold off and see this for what it is and cut this cord if you're going to be free. Um, it could even be for some of you, you might still be holding on to this person. This person might be with somebody else and you might be holding on to the hope that they're going to come back to you. And it's actually keeping you stagnant and stopping you from from living your life and stopping you from finding someone that would love you here and now in the present moment. And it's like you want to get out of this energy and, um, you know, get in this energy of adventure, honeymoon, vacation, like just loving life again. Uh, yeah, I feel like because this is it's. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement. It's like you were sure about this. It's like you were sure about this person. And this hidden truth came out and it just shook you to your core. It just, it, it's hardened. You were so open, so vulnerable. And then you became, you had to become hard and you were just so confused and so lost at this, at this betrayal, whatever this is. 
Um, I'm sorry, I hate giving you guys sad readings, but it's not really, it's not sad if you think about it though, because your guides are showing you this because you're praying or you're hoping for love. And so, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing. Your guides are basically saying, hey, here's what's blocking you from love, you know, heal this so that we can bring love in because they don't want to bring a soulmate in and have you like test them or challenge them or push them away or bring all your baggage from your ex into that relationship and expect them to cheat you know what I mean because sometimes if you've been cheated on it's like sometimes you develop control issues because that happened you know what I mean and it's not there's nothing a lot of people have control issues that they have to work on it's nothing it doesn't make you a bad person but you know, your soulmate is not going to deal with you like wanting to know who he or she is with at all times. They're not going to deal with you bringing all whatever this person did. They don't want you to, to put that on your soulmate and blame your new soulmate for that. They want you and you're still holding on to this. Maybe, maybe subconsciously, maybe consciously. And they want this energy cleared up so that they can actually bring you your um, true love. Anything else they want to say? Bull power, strength, confidence, yeah. Confidence to push past this energy, push past this, this power struggle and reclaim yourself. Reclaim your happiness, you know? Get out of this merry-go-round that you're in with this person. Just let this go as hard as it is. I know it's easier said than done. Like, I've been... I mean, I was in love with someone. I cried every day for four months over them, every single day. I was depressed over them for two years, and they came back into my life um, about a year ago, actually. A little over a year ago, I think it was. And I just realized how condescending and, and negative they were with me, how much they talked down to me. And I had never realized that before because I put them on such a pedestal. I was so sure that was my true love, my person. And I'm so thankful now that I did not end up with that person. I'm so thankful that I did not get what I wanted. And my only regret is that I wasted so much of my energy on that person. You know what I mean? When you're in that perspective, all you can think about is how much you love that person. It's like you can't even notice how condescending and negative they're being towards you. And I feel like a lot of you are have been or currently are still trapped in that perspective where it's like you can't see just that this person is not right for you anymore. You know what I mean? It's like you're wanting it to go back to how it was. And I hate to say it, but it's, I don't think it's going to. I don't personally think it's going to. But you know what your story is more than I do. And guys, I just want to put it out there. I'm not going to argue with you about this because I know some people will comment and say like, oh no, he's this or he's that. I'm like, I don't, I'm not going to argue. This is either your story or it isn't. If it doesn't resonate, then it's not your story, you know? I hate to give you guys such a sad reading. I'm sorry. Truth, cl yeah, truth, clarity. You know, you're nostalgic and you're longing for this, this situation that's dead um, and it's blocking you from the truth and that this person was controlling. This person was, was just not quite right, you know? But again, like I said, this is actually a positive thing. I know that this, it hurts to look at this. It hurts to see it like this. I understand that it's hard. It's really hard when you love somebody. It's really hard when you know that you need to move on and you just can't, you know? And sometimes you just can't. Sometimes it's just a process. You're just going to cry over it for a while. You know what I mean? Um, and again, for some of you, you're still in love with this person. For others, I think that you have, for the most part, moved on. But it's like this pattern that you have because of how deeply they betrayed you. You haven't let go of the pattern. It's like you let go of the person. Like you don't love them anymore. But you're still guarded and afraid because of how much of what they did, what they put you through. It's one, one like major event is what I feel most likely. Like just them leaving you when you did not expect it or cheating or just something that you did not see coming here. Um, but like I said, it's positive that your guides are showing you this because it's like you're praying for love and they're like, okay, this is this is something you need to address. This is a pattern. You need to, to do some cut and clear work, some soul retrieval, um, 
Like, they're saying, like, going into the new year, like, we need, you know, your guides are working with you on this. They're like, okay, we need to release this. We need you to take the blindfold off. We need you to be open and honest and, and, and stop putting this person on a pedestal and start really acknowledging how badly they treated you and acknowledging that you deserve a lot more than what you went through with this person. Um, and also acknowledging that, you know, not everybody is going to do that. I know it's really hard to trust that when someone does you like that, it's hard. It's really difficult. I'm sorry you guys went through that. That's harsh. Yeah, just choosing a path, you know, choosing, choosing a path. Because you do have true love. You do have a potential life partner, but I don't think it's this person. But you're, if you're going to find that, that true love, that life partner, you're going to have to um, heal this. You're going to have to heal this. So I hope that resonates. If it does, please go ahead and subscribe. And I also do paid private readings. I have some specials going on in January. And my contact info is below. Thank you for watching.